You know, I'll never understand, y'all. Listen, I will never understand how you can find out who a narcissist is and still deal with them. I don't get how people find the patience to still put up with a narcissist once you know who they are. Y'all, this is so weird to me. It makes no sense to me. Just know you're dealing with all types of crazy. Just know you're dealing with a clown and all kinds of crazy. Listen, y'all, I don't understand how you get mad at someone for knowing who you are. How you have the audacity to go the distance to destroy somebody who figures you out, who knows who you are. They say, show me who you are and I'll believe you, right? That's saying where when people show you who they are, you should believe them. Listen, make no mistake about it. When a narcissist shows you who they are, you should believe Everything that they show you. Y'all listen. These individuals get mad at you for knowing who they are. They show you all the evil within. They show you everything possible. That's no good in a human being, right? Because I always say they're not a human being to me at all. But we have so many people who still want to label them as humans. And that's fine. See it anyway. That you like to see it. You're dealing with a whole damn demon and a whole clown. Okay? You cannot make these things up, y'all. It makes no sense to me how people could actually get mad with you or anybody get upset because you find out who they are and you believe them. And then they're upset with you about it. Y'all, I've been thinking about this for days. Narcissists are everywhere, and I keep saying they're spreading like wildfire. They do the absolute most, everything possible under the sun that they can do for you to figure out exactly who they are by their disgusting behavior. And then once you figure them out, they're mad at you. They want to punish you for the things that they're doing to you. They go above and beyond to smear your name to lie on you, to say all these things about you, to treat you like trash when you're dealing with them. And then the moment you've got them all figured out, you decide to say, oh, no, this stops today. Oh, no, not any longer. Oh, no, I'm not putting up with this. Oh, no, I'm done with you. I'm out. Get somebody else to do it, right? They're mad at you. You're the problem. I will never, ever get that part of narcissism or anybody who's toxic for that matter. How are you mad at me, right? Or anybody because you've shown them the absolute worst. They figured it out, decided to raise up, get up out of there and leave you stuck off by yourself, getting somebody else to go do it. Not everybody wants to deal with the narcissist. Not everybody wants to deal with toxicity. People hate liars. I know that I do. But here's the thing. You're mad. You're angry about it. Because no one wants to stick around and put up with this. You're always looking for other people to put up with this kind of behavior. And guess what? There's no kind of way, y'all, you could make any of this make any kind of sense. People are still holding on to narcissists. People are finding out who the narcissist is, still putting up with it, still dealing with them, still getting in relationships with narcissists when you know who you're dealing with. There's no way all this information is out here. All these videos, all these content creators, all these specialists, all these therapists, All these people who are constantly creating and putting out content about narcissists for this many people to still not get what they're dealing with are still making excuses for narcissist behavior to still be out here just giving them supply left, right, front and center.
It doesn't make sense to me, y'all. And the dumbest thing in the world, this is why I say narcissists are ass backwards. And not only are they ass backwards, they're stupid. There's no way in the world that anybody should be walking around getting mad or bent out of shape or smearing somebody's name for getting mad at them or cutting them off for the things that they did to them. Y'all narcissists get mad at people for the things that they do to you. I'm mad at you because you figured me out. I hate you because you found out who I was. I hate you because I did you wrong. You caught on. You left me three sheets in the wind. I can't stand you for knowing the real me. You saw the mask slip. I hate you for that. And people are still putting up with these individuals. Letting them ride the wave, be in their life, have a revolving door, come and go as they please. Still talking to them, still texting them still trying to get closure from them, still trying to be in their life, still being in the harem, waiting for the narcissist to come back. I'll never get you people. I know in the beginning stages, when you're first catching on to what this is, you're in a state of shock. Want we all, we all want a closure. We hang around. We try to figure this thing out. But what I don't get is for the ones who figure it out, who know what it is, who was caught on to it, who realizes what has happened, and they're still there waiting for the narcissist to return. Waiting for the narcissist to give them answers, closure, come back, talk to me, let's deal with this, to still have this person come back into your life. Do you realize when you wait for a narcissist to give you any kind of closure, to come back and want to talk to you or say anything to you, they're still texting you, emailing you, still calling your phone because you haven't changed your number or you haven't changed your address or you haven't just relocated and gotten them completely out of your life. Do you realize to a narcissist what that says? Remember, they don't think the way that you do. They don't move the way that you do. They don't understand things the way that we do. And I will never understand how people can sit there and and just still have these individuals being a part of their life. I'll never get this part of it. The key saying is once you know, you go. There's nothing else for you to try to figure out, for you to try to understand. There's enough information out here that tells you everything you need to know about these dummies. I'm like, y'all, I I just don't get it. I just don't understand it. And no matter what, there's a lot of people who understand, who's gotten an education, who's who's not lost on what this is anymore, who's just still allowing the narcissist to be in their world some kind of way. I pray for y'all who still move like this. Because I get the trauma bond is something serious. But once you figure it out, what are you doing? What is it that you're trying to get? At this point, do you care about your life? Have you any idea the narcissist will be to your demise if you keep dealing with these individuals? Do you understand that this is what they thrive on? I'm just saying. Y'all just want to come through and make this quick video and tell some of y'all who are still moving like this, you're fighting a losing battle. These individuals are walking around hating and mad and smearing and disgusted that you found out who they are. They showed you who they were. You believed them and now they're mad. And this is just doesn't go for narcissists. This is for toxic people as well. Y'all, listen, I know y'all have seen it. The moment you figure a narcissist out or anybody who's toxic and you call them out, 
The first thing they start doing is blame shifting, telling you about something that you've done, something in the past that's happened with you. And half the time, what they're telling you doesn't even have anything to do with them. It's always something you've shared with them or something you've told them that was a part of your life before they even came along that they try to bring up and throw in your face. Like that's going to change the fact that they are a narcissist or an evil individual. You can't make this stuff up. And a lot of y'all are falling for it. You're letting them tell you things that has nothing to even do with them. Things that you've shared with them in confidence of things that you've gone through in your life that they come back and bring up like it's their damn business. You, look, y'all, listen, even when I was with the narcissist, I never fell for that. Yeah, remember when you did this? Uh, Yeah, but I wasn't with you and that ain't your business. Why are you bringing that up? Are you mad because I figured you out? Are you mad because you're the most evilest individual that I know? Are you upset? Does that bother you? That I know who you are? And once I get away from you, I'm never coming back. I'm going to cut you off like somebody who didn't pay their water bill and make sure you can't come back into my life. Are you mad? Are you upset? Because narcissists know people who are going to cut them off and they could never come back. And they know the ones who keep allowing them back. Just know that, y'all. They know who's who. They know who they could and cannot play with. And this is why they smear some people and hate some harder than others. Because they know some they'll never be able to return to. It's a burn bridge that they'll never be able to cross again. And they know it. Y'all, this is sick. You've got individuals, right, walking planet Earth who are mad at you because they showed you who they were and you believed them. I'm done with this. For y'all who are still letting the narcissists in your life after you've seen the destruction that they cause, I'm going to pray for y'all. All All of you are still defending the narcissist. Oh, they need love too. Oh, they've been through so much in their childhood. I'll pray for y'all as well. All of y'all who are still walking around dumbfounded after knowing who you're dealing with because you have not found the strength to let go and move on, I'm definitely going to pray for you. And all of y'all who are seriously, seriously, And I say this with the most compassion and empathy who are still stuck in a trauma bond, who cannot figure it out, who can't understand why. And it's very, very hard for you to peel yourself away from this evil individual. I am definitely, sincerely going to pray for you guys because I've been all the way there and then some. And I personally know how that feels. But for those of you who are turning a blind eye, Look out. The worst is yet to come. You're playing a game. You're playing with your life. And at this point, you're helping the narcissist do exactly what they're going to do. You've become an accomplice and they love it. We got to stop doing this, y'all. If you're stuck in that trauma bond, I'm rooting for you. You can get out. I did. And lots of other people have as well. And guess what? Life is proceeding forward like it should. Healing is taking place and people are moving away from narcissists and they're not turning back. Shout out to all of y'all who are still making excuses who are not getting this. And I was asked a question, y'all, about why do they blame everyone around them? After you catch on to what they're doing. Because they can't see the wrong in their actions. Because they can do no wrong. Because they are above and beyond reproach. And they feel as if they can do no wrong. Everything and anything that they do has to be blamed on somebody else. Because they can't take the shame and the blame for it. So if you're in close proximity. If you're the primary source. If you're the person that they're dealing with on a regular basis. You will get the blame for whatever it is the narcissist has going on. They will never take blame for what they're doing. 
to you or anybody else around them. It'll always be somebody else's fault. This is the only way a narcissist can survive and not deal with shame. Yes, they know it's all their fault too. They absolutely know it's all their fault. They will never admit that. That's not what a narcissist is about or what they do. It has to be your fault for them to proceed on as if nothing ever happened. For them to have a story to tell. That's the only way they can move on. They have to create a story about you and turn you into the villain in order for them to move on and get another supply. They have to have a story to tell, to draw in empathy, and people get sympathetic with them and come to their aid and then be the victim. This is how it works. That's the only way it works for narcissists. For those of you who keep saying about why they have to blame somebody else. Because they do. This is the way it works for a narcissist. This is not one narcissist. This is all narcissists. They cannot deal with shame and the blame for their actions. Everybody else has to take it. And this is how they move. How they move. Alright? Hope I helped somebody. You guys, that's it for this video. Until next time.